Hi everyone, this is Iris. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your curls last for hours. The model that I'm using in this video is a person that I met at IMATS last year, and here is a clip on how we met. Uh, this is one of my supporters who I met who mentioned that it was very difficult for her to curl her hair, and so I asked her to let me do her hair in an upcoming video because I feel like I could really meet that challenge. I'm Add some long-lasting curls in her hair. Yes. Okay, we met at IMAX, mm -hmm. and I can't believe that you called me back. If you don't want to watch the entire video, I have put in some annotations so that you can skip to certain sections on this video. There's also a list below in the description bar. What What did you tell me that day? Oh, I told you that I really love your videos, mm -hmm. and you asked me um, if I try to do any of them like I try but the curl always comes out so. mm, like it falls out and yes what kind of hair texture or hair would you say that you have um, the hair texture it's flat. it's flat and it doesn't have any volume at all and it's would you say that it's fine or thin I would say that I would think it was thin but a lot of people think it's thick okay like in the back Let me, right here it's it. thin it's very like her hair is very silky baby soft like when you touch her hair and you touch my hair my hair feels more coarse like almost oh, yeah. dry and hers feels like really baby 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 soft. oh when you've used like when you've tried to curl your hair before what have you used what type of tool um, I've used a flat iron mm -hmm. and a curling iron the hot tools mm -hmm. curling iron does it have a clip Yes, the clip. I've never used a wand or anything. Oh, okay. What type of yeah. products do you put in your hair before you curl or after you curl to help uh, mm -hmm. make the curl last? I think I put in, um, it's, uh, I use it before mm -hmm. and it's um, like a serum. Oh, you use it before? Yeah. Okay. And what's the serum for? What does what is the product it's say supposed it's for? To, it says it's for flyaways and mm. um, to protect the hair when you do it. But it okay. doesn't seem like it works and it's supposed to keep the is there curl. anything else that you put in your hair like after you've curled it um just hairspray okay she washed her hair like what like seven hours ago or so yeah and did you blow dry it um at the end yes okay i let it air dry oh you let it air dry and, and then, then you blow whatever dry it. wasn't dry yet then i blow dry it. okay so you it's completely dry 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 now yes did you put any product in it no. Another thing okay. I can think of if I'm not able to make her curls last um, here is I'm going to apply mousse to her hair before and then blow dry it. But I don't, just by like guesstimating, I don't think she's going to need it. I think just with a clipless um, mm -hmm. curling iron, she should be good. So we'll see how it goes. I decided to use my KQC iStick Cone Curling Wand. This is the small cone and this one is available at flatironexperts.com. What I did is I wrapped it around the smallest part of the cone and as you can see I didn't get too close to her scalp because I just wanted to test out and see how her hair would react to the curling wand at first. And once I felt the hair nice and hot, then I applied a clip like so. You can also use a couple of bobby pins on each side. And I just continued to do this. If you see steam coming out of her hair, it's only because she just washed her hair today on the same day. And so that's the moisture that you see leaving her hair. But um, she has no product in her hair and I'm just clipping these on as soon as I feel the hair nice and hot. I decided to mix it up and use my Enzo Milano 13 millimeter curling iron as well and this is going to add some super tight curls that are going to eventually turn into waves so that's one of the tips that you want to take with you if your hair doesn't hold a curl use a smaller curling iron it's best to wait until the clips have completely cooled you want to wait a minimum of 30 minutes then lightly spray them with hairspray when they're clipped in if you can wait a lot longer than 30 minutes, that would be best because you really want these curls to set and cool. Now I am slowly releasing each curl and then spraying them again lightly with some hairspray. The hairspray that I'm using is listed below in the description bar. And I'm just going to continue to release them and as soon as I'm done releasing all of the curls, I'm going to start at the ends and I'm going to gently very very gently take them apart but not all the way up to the top of the hair just almost about midway and I usually would um, 
ask our model to flip their hair over and then kind of shake their hair and I'll show you that in a little bit but in this case I want to be really gentle and just separate the curls by hand and um, if you feel any tangles um, just start from the bottom don't like pull it so here I show you what I would normally ask my models to do but in this case I think that if we do that that's gonna separate them too much and we really want the curls to hold on to each other so you don't want to separate them more than what I'm doing and at the very top I'm just going to smooth out the hair just because I want it to, to blend together but as you can see I'm not brushing all the way down through the curls because again you don't want to separate the curls too much eventually these curls will turn into waves so if you think your hair is too curly don't worry because you do have fine or thin hair it will eventually turn into these beautiful waves like it um yes <laughs> i really love it wow so here is um, delia's hair and she's got lots of nice curls um she still does have a little bit of frizz, but it's not too bad. The only thing that I use to kind of smooth out her hair a little bit is a pomade. But it's mostly just the hairspray that I use to set the, um, the curls in place. But yeah, her hair looks nice and shiny and curly. And then we even, we clipped her bangs to the side just a little bit. And then we clipped this to the side as well. So she has like these pretty little clips. I'm now on January 6th and we're gonna see what your hair is like tomorrow oh, yeah. and we'll post it in this video as well it's 8 49 and um I will be coming back to check in with you guys and this is how my hair looks it probably wouldn't have gone down like the bottom because I slept but even some areas that um I didn't sleep on they're still like really curly like I'm so excited like I can't believe that my hair stayed and this is the back I just um fixed a little bit of the top other than that I haven't touched the curls or did anything this is how they stayed and it's just really exciting that my hair is still like curly I'm just so excited. 59 if you could see right there. And I am back to show you guys my hair. And let me tell you, it has been really windy outside. And I've been doing my errands and picking up my kids. So my hair has, it's falling out in um, certain areas. Let me stand back so you guys can see it. But a lot of it is still curled and there are some spots that aren't curled anymore but I have never had my hair like most of it still curled like if it's gonna go flat like all of it goes flat and probably if I wouldn't have slept in my hair it probably would all still be curled M. and this is how my hair looks and it seems that all of the hair that I, when I woke up, was curled. It seems that all of that hair is still curled. So that's super exciting. Like, I'll show you one little ringlet. Of course my hair is gonna be frizzy. Like, you can't change that, anything. So, it's still curled. Like, it's pretty crazy. And I'll show you guys the back of it and um yeah so i think this was a definite success and my hair is the only two styles that i had before um having iris do my hair was basically straight or in some sort of like braid updo no curling involved so now I have like, I'm gonna buy, purchase the wand and I'm gonna talk to her about it, see which one's the best one and um, ask her which one I should get. So thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye. And if you wanna see more videos by Delia, you can go to her channel. Her channel is Delia and Six 
here on YouTube and I'll post a link in the description bar as well, but it's D-E-L-I-A-A-N-N -N, and then the number six, right? Yes. Okay, so then you guys can go look at some of her videos. What kind of videos do you do? Um, makeup, makeup videos. Just makeup? Yeah. Okay, so if you guys wanna go see some of her makeup tips, you can go to, to her channel. Today she's very, wearing very natural makeup, but I think you do other types of makeup looks, right? Like yeah. more dramatic looks too? Yes, more dramatic. Okay, and then you guys can get some, some tips from her channel as well. What's your most popular video on your channel? For my, get, uh, for school. A school makeup tutorial. Oh, like yeah. the first day of school or yes. something like that? Oh, okay, so she has like a first day of school makeup tutorial. Yeah. And um, that one. So go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Super nice and friendly. I think yeah. right now she's just being really <laughs> shy because every time I turn the camera on, she's like, oh, hi. <laughs> yeah. But then when I turn it off, she's like, oh, yeah. She's like talking to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but she's like not like that on her channel. I saw some of her videos and she's very friendly and smiley. And oh, thanks. <laughs> So check out and them I would just the only thing I would do is just make sure that you put them like over so you're not like mm -hmm. sleeping on them because if you sleep on them they are gonna flatten out oh, so if you could like maybe put the like when you sleep just kind of like put it over the pillow and then just try not to move around a lot mm -hmm. I don't know I guess that like I don't know if people can actually I can do that I don't know if you can do that I could do that too, okay because my hair is longer yeah so you just don't don't sleep on it um, Putting it up in a bun, maybe not, because that'll change the shape of oh, the yeah. curls. You can leave it as they are, but then just, you know, just leave it out over the pillow. And if you were doing this before heading out to like a wedding or something like that, I would recommend that you not take the clips off until like right before the wedding. Like if it's like you're the bride or if you're the bridesmaid or the maid of honor, or if this was like for prom or anything like that, anything that's a special occasion, like don't take the clips off leave them on as long as possible until you absolutely have to take them off like if your date's going to come pick you up then do this like two hours before and leave the clips in for two hours and spray your hair and just leave them like this because the longer you have the clips on the longer your curls are going to last the next few days or the next few hours or however long it lasts so <laughs> um that's my best tip for making curls last and I hope that it has been helpful. And if you have, again, any questions, comments, just leave it below in the comments area. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. And now to announce the winners of my previous contests on this channel, which are as follows. For the Princess Hair Flat Iron, I have chosen this YouTube user. I also did a giveaway that was only open to my Facebook page likers and more giveaways on my Facebook page to come. So here are the winners. I will be contacting you shortly. Thank you guys so much for liking my Facebook page and for following me all of these years and also for being loyal and watching every single one of my videos. I truly appreciate it and I want you guys to know that I really care about all of you guys and I want to make sure that my videos are always helpful to you so I appreciate being able to interact with you on Facebook so that I can get better ideas on how to manipulate my channel so that it benefits you. Thank you again and I hope that this video has brought some inspiration to you. Thank you for watching.